This project is about mapping the vast oceans of dirty money that are coursing through the world's economy and about the failure or quite possibly refusal on the parts of banks and governments to stop it. And it's also about showing the human misery that that economy funds and why stopping it matters. We've obtained for the first time internal U.S. Treasury documents that have been created by banks and shared with the U.S. government. In them you find that banks are tracking money launderers, terrorism financiers, narco traffickers, numerous accounts all over the world. The International Consortium of Investigative Journalists put together a team of more than 400 reporters from around the world. Alongside these journalists, ICIJ has led and reported on this project for over a year. And what the FinCEN files reveal is the role of global banks in industrial scale money laundering. We're seeing all kinds of bad actors sending funds from one jurisdiction to another. But more importantly, we learned that law enforcement officials and regulatory agencies are failing to stop this dark money. And we want to call attention to the role that the financial institutions play in facilitating that, turning a blind eye to it, and the governments as well. It isn't the criminals themselves that launder the money. So the banks have a really important role to play because they are the, the system by which that money is going to be moved from their country to a nice, safe place. This story matters because money laundering has a huge impact on the lives of regular people, and banks and governments are allowing this to happen. And it's a massive, massive problem, and all of us ultimately pay the price for this because this money is coming from our taxes and our contributions to society, and it should be being spent on providing us with good roads and good transport and good schools and a good health service, and we need as a society to do something about it.